What's it say on that screen? It says one, <laughs> two, two, three. Bet it's going. Music Band Disc Golf Course here in uh, beautiful Tupelo, Mississippi, home of Elvis. This is a beautiful course, wooded, open, um, not beginner friendly. Not beginner friendly. We're going to have a bad time, but we're going to learn a lot and probably kick our discs in the bags. We're going to have a great time today. Scott's actually decent though. Yeah, well, I mean, even decent. if we do bad, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Oh, no, not the first throw. Just throw the damn thing and hurry up. There's cars coming. I'm going to hit them. Get in the hole. Oh, that was going to be so good. That's what everybody else wanted to do. Perfect placement shot. Way to go, James. Oh, yeah, you're good, Scott. I stand corrected. <laughs> I love when I'm proved wrong. So, Scott, tell us uh, really quick, all the viewers at home. What does it feel like to be the best disc golf player in the tri-state area? Um, I'm not sure. So we'll ask the pro. <laughs> Get a lot of push. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> not in the Sahara. Avada Kedavra. It's Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. It's like the dollar store version. <laughs> we, we, we've got Harry Potter at home. You know what a cool band name is? Labia Harvest. That's good. Yeah, I know. It's like they grow. <laughs> they just grow and you just harvest labias. Mm -hmm. A little shaky. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good George Michael. Oh. Where's Alex? Oh, okay, I see you. Oh, brother, I bet you're in Jumanji over here. That'd be cool. It's gonna hit all of us in the throat. This is the closest action you can get in disc golf. It's me. Poison. I'm just gonna stay down here for him. <laughs> oh, sir. Me. What'd you get? Hmm. It's uncharacteristic of James. Mr. Tight. What can we do to fix that next time, James? Stay Stay Make the putt. All right. <laughs> A tree that I didn't even see. <laughs> it's over by a pole. Ha! Perfect shot. <laughs> oh man, first on the course. Ah, 
Ah, uh, stood up too quick. America. America. That might be worth a retee. I got some great footage. Oh, we got some putting woes today, y'all. I'm doing, I'm doing all right with my putts. You Thank are. you. You're putting it close, Daddy. Oh, I thought it was going to sink for him. He wanted it so bad. He hit the coin. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> what did he say? Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Bo boom, Ravenclaw, 25. <laughs> the only disc you need in your bag. Okay, okay, so you heard it here. Zach's gonna do the rest of this <laughs> game with a justice. Wow, that was sucks. Cheese I, I throw it off the tee, but don't count it unless it's good. You always got dirt on your ass because you like, like when you, you actually do those shots where you like get down on the ground and throw, we're just like, I'll take relief. He's committed. <laughs> I like throwing on something I like. Makes you feel like a pro. Zach likes to be on his knees. Ha ha! Oh, oh wait. Sick clouds. It's ours. It's actually Alex's. Oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> no, it's Zach. Yeah, it's Zach. That's excellent, Scott. Nice shot. Push too oh, far. Nice too much power. I jinx it. Zach always got to bring everybody down. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. Definitely your criticism, man. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. I know. That was been, been a little better if it was not so bad. What is your favorite plastic? Both favorite of you. Plastic. What are your favorite plastics? Mm, man. It depends on the shot, man, but I'm not. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be ESP. Yeah, ESP. For Star, for Innova. Right. What kind of plastic would you use? Any plastic? XT. Silicone? Mm. Me too. I want to have a driver just made out of condoms. Yeah, because it's recyclable. <laughs> we could try and smoke it. I'll try it. all the way over the creek, man! Pulling the Zach over there. James, I didn't ask you what kind of plastic do you prefer? Uh, Star. I also prefer it's Star. yet grippy. And slightly less stable than uh, Champion plastic. They're tight, man. The Tide jingles and the Old Spice jingles. Oh, Carmax. Good shot. Crotch shot. You kicked me almost in the balls. <laughs> How many discs can you fit in that bag, Scott? I don't know. Probably a lot. Probably like a lot. Mine right here. Is this in your way? Yep. Alright. Eyes on HD coming at you. Live in the car. <laughs> Got this beautiful scenery behind us. A gas station. Where we met for today's round. But not the round. We're about to speak of. Accurate. that music bend. Mm. It was a hot one. We had about eight players show up. It was perfect. Let's talk about something that wasn't perfect. And that was our game at Music Bend. In the group message... We've got what five or six guys in there. Yeah. Uh, most of the guys you've seen here on our channel, highs and HD, subpar disc golf. We coined that today. We That's did. a round you're going to see next video. Daniel, actually, who played with us, was in the group with Heisen, but we text such random stuff at random times that don't matter. He tapped out. That he tapped out within a week. But he came he and brought he brought people. like 18 people <laughs> with him. They were cool guys. You see them here and there. You might hear them. Uh, cheeseburger was there. Yes. The cheeseburger was there. It's been about a week, actually. It's exactly a, a week, week since we... A week to the day. Yes, a weekday 
uh, since we did that round, but do you remember anything about it? I remember that it was hot. Sticky. The grass was tall. There were ants. And there were a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, there was a hole. When we got to hole six, I wanted to have a good shot of everybody going down the fairway. And I actually had a really good shot, but when, when you got back, I was the only one that didn't get filmed. The only shots you see of me for that whole game are crappy, but it's not my fault because I actually played really good, but they just trying to make me look bad. I am the pro, not Alex. I had to tap out um, on hole 14, so I, I had a few left to go, but I, I when I tapped out, I was five over, which is okay for me there, actually, just because I, the best I've ever done there is two up. So five up with only like four or five holes to go is not... Not too bad for yeah. me. I, I'm not going to complain. Do you remember your score? I don't remember it at all. I don't. It was 11, oh, it was, 11 yeah. 12. It was not, not, not great. Not terrible, but not great. I think James and Scott both ended around the 2 or 3 yeah, mark, no, no. which is normal for, for them. them yeah. I know Greg was supposed to be there with us, but he messaged us as soon as we all finally got there. James was supposed to be on his way with Greg, and when James got there, there was no Greg. And then we get a message from Greg that said he just woke up and he was hung over. He was going back to sleep. Classic Greg. If you want to see classic Greg, tune in next week. Really, that's about it.